In today's video we are giving Linda, that was a still me, Goliath Bordita Tarantula, we are giving her new home. As you all know, in this enclosure we have Linda. She is not currently the biggest Tarantula in Dark Den, but in near future she will become just that, because this is the biggest tarantula species in the world, at least this, the biggest discovered species. And she is currently hiding in her hole, but we are going to get her out. Then we are going to set up new enclosure inside of this bigger glass terrarium. This is 30 by 25 by 25. Just for comparison, this is 20 by 20 by 20 cubes, so much bigger enclosure than her current one. But of course, since she is the biggest tarantula species on the planet, this is not her permanent enclosure. In the future, as she grows, we are going to need to make even bigger enclosure. And that will be a project, a fun project. <laughs> and also in today's video, we are going to make another rehouse. I mean, we are going to do another rehouse. You know, this is the enclosure where I had the Asian forest scorpion female. She unfortunately passed away and I explained that in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out. And this is her enclosure. And usually if that was a uh, tarantula in here, I would remove everything and redo the enclosure for new tarantula. But since we had scorpion inside, another tarantula, there is no silk lying around or anything like that. It is just a pretty good enclosure. So I don't see the reason to destroy the entire setup and rebuild it. I will just reuse it. And inside we will put this lovely little girl. And it is one species that got the weirdest moves out of all tarantulas, most likely. You will see it later when we... Oh, yeah, okay. This is Megafobema rebusno female and as I said, we are going to move her inside of this enclosure. And that is going to be the first thing that we will do because we don't need to set anything up. We can just get her out, record her a bit and put her inside of her new enclosure. So let's just do that. And yeah, she's already starting to act weird. They have super weird movement, as you see. She seems like she's broken or something. And because of that, she is kind of difficult to rehouse because you cannot just push her and manipulate with her in order to move. She just stands like that and usually just moves weirdly. We will see how she will move now. Because I have one brush for her and we will be super gentle with her. And hopefully because of that you will actually cooperate with us. Will you? Please? <laughs> Only one way to find out. With a soft brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are the movements, you see. But in the air, but in the air. Such a weird movement, it always amazes me. I don't see how this is a defensive thing. I mean, what do you gain from moving like that? What does the tarantula actually gain? I understand when tarantula bolts, because that is the way a uh, tarantula would get out of reach of any predator that touches her or anything. But this, what is the purpose of that? I have no idea. And yeah, it just seems that she is going to be difficult for us because you see, I cannot get her to move in any direction and maybe I should just pinch grab her and move her by hand. I will probably get super hurt by that, but I don't see any other way. So for pinch grab, let me show you what you need to do and I will actually do it with two hands because I don't want to mess this up. So the first thing you need to do, make sure it is not an old world because I mean you can pinch grab old worlds but I really wouldn't like to attempt that because usually when you pinch grab a new world species it will like stop or its movement or anything. But the old worlds, I have seen them wiggle around and try to move out and just do stuff and I wouldn't be comfortable with that. So, Without any further ado, let's do this. After you establish that your tarantula is actually a new world, you need to proceed like this. Uh, you see this, this middle part, this is carapace. And what you want to do is press that part with your finger, with your like uh, middle finger, like that. You need to be fast and, oh, she's actually struggling. No, 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 can do. You see, when you are holding tarantula like this, she cannot do anything to you, but if she continues to struggle, she could probably like turn herself. And that's why I wouldn't do this with an old world, because you see, new worlds, they just calm when you do that. So now I'm going to move this, oops, and we are going to put her in the new enclosure. Same procedure, just put her like that and just beep. There we go, easy. Now you have a brand new enclosure and yeah, stop with the, with the silly movement. Stop with that, go. 
Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Even though she raises her booty a lot, she's unfortunately not in the booty calendar. Maybe next year. And in regards to booty calendar, I ship them in Friday together with all the stickers. And yeah, that's it. All of you that ordered it, congratulations and thank you for supporting the channel in that way. If you have Instagram, make sure to show off and tag me in the post. And you move your leg, please, so I can close the enclosure. Thank you. And please be more chilled and not so ungrateful. Look at her, still moving around. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Such a weird species. Now it is Linda's time to shine. And also remove this top part. So the enclosure is more accessible, clever design. Shameless self-promotion. And let's poke Linda out. Hopefully no crazy, crazy moves. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, howdy. You see how different her movement is in comparison to Megaphobema Robust? Completely different thing and my god, she's beautiful! Oh, so I will just do this? No. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but she's actually making sounds as she's moving. So crazy and now she's back in. Linda, Linda, come on, I need your cooperation. I need your total... Ooh, she's biting the straw. No, 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 don't throw your hairs. I need your booty to be pretty. Hmm, I think that I will remove her top part of her height. That should... No, don't throw hair. No, come on, you have brand new abdomen. Oh, oh, bolts, bolts. Can I cup you? Oh, she's so big. She, this is too small for her. Please, please, go, go. Just a little bit. No, come on. She's being so difficult. I mean, I understand her. Don't stop kicking hairs. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Move it, move it. No, no, no. They are finally. Now we have her contained here. And I can just manipulate with her and put her there. You just wait here until I set up your new enclosure. And then you can, yeah, make new burrows or stuff yeah now this bad boy comes into play you see i already have prepared a cord work that i will use this will be her hide i will just put it like this and i will half bury it that way she'll be forced to make it like her own i always try to add some substrate into the cord bark even though they are tubes and you you don't really need to add any substrate inside but it is better because tarantula can make it more cozy for her that way i also want to use all of her old substrate because i don't see why not uh, it is a bit stuck and being held in place by a root structure of a plant a plant that used to be inside of this enclosure until linda on multiple occasions decided to destroy that plant so therefore in this enclosure i won't be adding any plants for her she clearly showed me that she she doesn't enjoy any plants. And now I will need a lot of substrate. And I'm actually running low on substrate. Uh oh, I will have enough for this build and maybe one, one more, but I should restock. Definitely restock. There, this is starting to shape nicely. But we need more substrate. Even though terraphosas require more humid enclosure, you see that I'm not, I didn't add a drainage layer inside. That's because they have tendency to dig and that way they would just dig into the actual drainage layer and just destroy the drainage layer. So that's why I'm not putting it inside. A little bit more substrate and I think we are done. But let's not forget about leaf litter and springtails. First I want to soak the enclosure a bit. The substrate is fairly dry, so we need to add some humidity, a lot of humidity. Um, that will go inside of the substrate, of course. Whee! I have plenty of leaf litter, so I can really throw it around without any care. Springtails. And the enclosure is complete, but it is actually missing one most important ingredient and that is of course Linda. And this is her old water dish. <laughs> we are just going to navigate her like that, you see she's super bolted and this is the safest, okay, okay, Linda, come on, please. No hair throwing, okay, wait, 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 there, chill, no, <laughs> nicey, nice, Linda is in the house, I, I really like this, this would be a nice thumbnail. If you could only calmly start to explore your new enclosure, that would be 
Really nice. Can we get that from you, Linda, please? You did enough bolting for one day anyway, so a few strolls would be deeply appreciated. While we kind of wait for her to start exploring her enclosure, I have one fan mail that I want to open. And this package should be my birthday present and also uh, a Christmas present from Kenya and her family. Please do not bend. It says birthday, but it is still not my birthday. It is in a few days, so I should open this on birthday, I guess. And this, this is Christmas, and it is still not Christmas, so also I want to open this, but I have a letter. Thank you, Kenya, for another lovely package, and I didn't realize that these are handmade by you. Very nice. And the tiny chocolate, just how I like them. Thanks. Now back to Linda. She's still standing there solid as a rock, so I don't know how to get her to move, but not to move like crazy. I will just pause this camera for a minute. Of course, this one will continue to roll until she moves, hopefully. Oops, I went to grab some drink and she moved. But it looks like she stopped now. Hopefully she will continue her journey. And the reason why I went to grab water, I think I inhaled some hairs because I have some, some itching in my throat and also on my hands and even on my face a bit. Terraforce has got the worst urticating hairs out of all tarantulas, I believe. So that can be really nasty. You see that booty, that is a weapon. Her booty is literally a weapon. Okay, 15 minutes has passed and she still didn't move a muscle, so I think that we are going to end it on this. I hope that this video was enjoyable. If it was, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel, you'll know there's a Patreon page. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, upload it Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! -bye.